But I hope in all of that, you'll try to convey the debate on the budget as something more than Russell mania. Every time you take to the keyboard, try to help those who will see your work get a more concrete understanding of how their lives will be affected by the choices on spending and taxes that the Congress makes. Just check my table. Oh. Writing interesting and informative budget stories is a difficult but important assignment for reporters tasked with covering the federal budget. On January 11, 2010, more than 50 Washington journalists prepared for Budget Day at a free, half-day seminar hosted by the National Press Foundation, the Center on Congress at Indiana University, and the Regional Reporters Association. Your task, which I think is crucially important, to a representative democracy is uh, to try to convey all of that uh, to the American people. And this program this morning is designed to try to help you do your job, and I hope it will. Director of the Center on Congress and former Congressman Lee Hamilton served as the event's host. He was followed by Joseph Minerick of the Committee for Economic Development, who offered a primer on how to find information in the budget document itself. Minarek also gave his own assessment on the growing federal debt, arguing that if things don't change soon, it could bankrupt the nation. If leaving the autopilot on runs us into the side of a mountain, you know you've got to do something to change that. Right now, there's absolutely no question that that's true. Managing Director of Corvus Communications, Dan Collender, was up next with a presentation on money and politics. Budgeting at any level, particularly at the federal level, is the most political of all processes that exist. All right, this is not a uh, objective process. It's not a rational process. Reporters Carrie Young of CQ, Deborah Solomon of the Wall Street Journal, and Bill Allison of the Sunlight Foundation rounded out the day with a discussion of practical tips that reporters can use while writing budget stories. And then actually looking at the deficits, like trying to make those numbers a little more friendly. Um, I had some fun with this a couple of months ago when CBO said there's going to be a $175 billion deficit for one month alone. That was, that's like the value of Apple. Like you'd have to sell Apple to make up that much money if you weren't borrowing it. So I was, I was trying to find things like that to really explain, to put the numbers to make them a little bit more fun. As is the case with all National Press Foundation programming, January's budget seminar was on the record, left plenty of time for audience questions, and was free of charge. Resources including full audio recordings, handouts, and contact information from our speakers is available now on our website at www.nationalpress.org.